was born in 1818 and came over when he was about 12 to Canada and um, entering the ankle painting, went on to painting portraits and then landscapes. Um, but he was born in Scotland, came here, and um, really established himself in New York as a portrait painter before he went into the landscapes. Uh, but these two paintings are, are different. Do you know the subjects of these? Um, well, this is Yosemite, Bridal Veil Falls, and this is Watkins Glen, New York. Okay. This one, yes, it is Watkins Glen. You see it's, it's um, signed Hope and dated 1872. So this is almost his very first year in Watkins Glen. He's, he retired there and painted there. This painting is a little different. This is um, Yosemite. Now, when you first brought this in, I had a hard time figuring out, is this Bridal Veil? Or is that Yellowstone Falls? Or is that Vernal Falls? There's elements of all of them. And somebody came by and said, that looks like El Capitan. Uh -huh. That's the reason for that. And the reason is he never went there. And he only knew these from sketches that Albert Bierstadt brought back. So his paintings of Yosemite look very different from his paintings of Watkins Glen because they were all done after copying sketches and photographs. So you see a very overall flatness to this. Um, his actual rock formations are not as exact either, so they're a little off. So all of this is very different. When you start comparing that right. with this here, this is known as um, Rainbow Falls in Watkins Glen. Here's a little rainbow, and he points that out. And then you have all these atmospheric qualities here, the, 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 the uh, light, the light coming through um, back here, all of these beautiful uh, observations that you only would have if you were there to see this, uh, which he didn't have in this thing. So it's a much, much more important painting because of that. Have you had these appraised at all? Um, no, we haven't. I was told that this was painted from a picture mm -hmm. that he had right. um, that's in the family somewhere. So you never had an appraised or anything? No, I sure haven't. Uh -uh. Well, the, the values of this gone up a lot recently. and. Uh, uh, years ago, they would only sell for four or five thousand dollars, but they recently um, uh, spiked uh, a very large painting of this, sold for a, a, a lot of money recently. Um, this one here, uh, because it's not the observed reality, is probably worth about ten to fifteen thousand dollars. It's an important subject, but it's not the, the, the his best work. Right. This is his best work, uh -huh. and his, his best scene. One like this probably be worth about twenty to thirty thousand dollars. So. Oh. Uh, well, that has always been my favorite. I love that one. It's yeah, just well, it's, it's oh, a great painting, as I said. This, the, the, uh, uh -huh. the, the the atmosphere, the light, all of that is just so much so much more important uh -huh. than this one. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm Mark Wahlberg. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Antiques Roadshow.